welcome back to Relay Gun Adventures. Today I have a brand new rifle from Milbro. It's the Milbro Savage, which is from the Milbro Tactical Division. That's what it says on the box anyway. Now this is apparently the shortest brake barrel rifle on the market. It's a gas ram, which means it's um, smooth and allegedly full hunting power. That's the term they use. Um, they reckon around about 11.5 FPE. So that's going to be interesting. It is short at uh, 80 centimeters and the stock is telescopic, which you're going to have to use to fire this thing um, with any comfort. It's covered in Picatinny rail. Most of it is functional. This Picatinny rail on the bottom isn't, it's just for show because that's where the barrel actually pivots from. So anything on there would be in the way, and also it's a little bit wide. It's semi-recoilless, and it achieves that by using a rail system for the action, and a spring-loaded damper in the back here, and it does work. I've tried it, and it's quite impressive. Um, it's different in many ways, um, particularly this chunk on the end. This is a suppressor and a cocking aid. I'm really not sure about it. Um, it's got Picatinny on it, so I've stuck a lamp on it just to sort of detract from the shape. And I can just about get past it with this red dot. Um, I've got a red dot on because I haven't got a scope short enough to comfortably fit the rifle and allow the barrel to break without interfering with the scope. Now the sliding stock does make this into quite a usable little rifle. It's kind of ball pub size. It's all polymer. Uh, it's quite good quality plastics it doesn't feel cheap or hollow there's no flex in it it all feels quite tough it's got a slight sort of grayish almost metallic look to it um, which i like i think that makes it look even better the ar type stock is pretty solid um, it's got a little bit of movement as they all do now i've got better ones than this and i might swap it out uh, but that is perfectly serviceable. It comes with a loop to attach a sling if you want. Uh, the safety is in front of the trigger. The trigger is a plastic blade. It appears to be a single stage non-adjustable trigger, um, which is okay. The actual safety itself is nice and positive. It's a little bit difficult with one finger to operate when you've cocked the rifle. And I think that's down to the um, recoil absorption system because the whole action seems to move before the safety gives but I think that might wear in at this stage I won't make too much of a fuss about that very black very tactical very oozy-esque now one of the things that um, I'm going to put to the test is the claimed power of 11.5 FPE because they advertise this as the shortest brake barrel full hunting power and, and of course semi recoil is which it is i've tried it and uh, i believe them because i can vouch for that um this red dot on here it was the only thing available i couldn't find anything else that would fit and do the job um i could probably source a, a short tactical style scope see how things go um i don't think i'm going to take this hunting to be absolutely honest um but you never know i might get the urge so i'm going to put some uh, pellets into a target. It's a strange day weather-wise. The sun's come out at the moment. We've had hailstorms, high winds, just crazy really. So we'll see how we get on. Um, we'll go with the SNK um, domed and perhaps a few Bisley pest control which are quite heavy. Um, see how they shoot and then we we'll see how they chrono. So in a minute I'll come back and give you some results and then we'll look at this in a bit more detail. Be right back.
So there we go, that's the shooting. Now the the one you've seen filmed there, that was the Beasley Pest Control. Um, they're not my favourite pellet, um, but a couple of my guns do like them, and it seems it's better in here than with the SMKs, which is, I don't know, I, I thought this would be okay on those. Um, they fire well out of my HW77 and my Gamo, so I thought it'd be worth a shot. Anyway, it shoots okay, it groups okay. Um, it's brand new, it hasn't really run in yet, it's got a little way to go. Now, one thing I did forget earlier, it's a magazine release on the pistol grip. And if you press the magazine release, it releases a magazine. Except it's not a magazine, it's just a box. And uh, I believe that's to keep a supply of Tic Tac mints when you're out on patrol. Um, also, it's not as easy to get back in as you might think. But it does lend an air of authenticity to the whole thing. Now, I've got to say, I quite like this. Um, I don't know about the end, I really don't. In fact, I'm pretty sure that is going to change. Um, and when it does, I'll come back and I'll, I'll do an update. And we'll see what I end up with. I know this comes off, it's not bonded on, it's a, it's a friction fit. Um, so it can be teased off. Um, and underneath that, there's another sort of four to six inches of barrel with a, a flat on the top which is to lock this in position. So once that's off, um, I may be able to either adapt this or construct a silencer come cocking aid, something a bit more conventional, I suppose is the word. But overall, I don't think it's a bad looking rifle. Now, it's not my usual thing. It's not my favorite design. Um, they do have a place and they, they are nice to look at and they are fun. Um, there's a funny thing on here, there's a safety catch. It's marked safe and fire. Um, it doesn't work, it's just for show, but it is uh, an indicator that when the little safety is forward it's safe and when it's back it's in fire mode. Now, power wise, believe it or not, just over 11 foot FPE with the Bisley Pest Control, um, I didn't chrono the Spitfires because, in all honesty, I wasn't that impressed with the results. But I tried a couple of JSB Jumbos and got very similar results. So it would seem, with a heavyish pellet, this can produce figures close to those they claim. It's possible, with some more time and a, a larger selection of pellets, which uh, is something I just don't have the time for now. But I reckon I probably can squeeze this up to pretty close to what they claim. For most people, um, firing regular pellets, standard size, JSBs, or whatever you lay your hands on, I think you'd be looking at around 10, 10 and a half, but it will just depend on your pellets. I like the gas ram in this. I like the fact that it's nice and smooth to cock. It's nice and quiet to cock. I can also say that that moderator is next to useless. <laughs> it's so loud. Um, maybe I've got a dud, possibly. I mean, the actual baffle section is only that big, you know, two and a half, three inches, and it's a very thin plastic thing. I didn't expect it to do very much, but I thought it might do a bit more than it does. Anyway, if you like this and this kind of thing, you can buy one of these for £159, recommended retail. You might find them cheaper, you might not. I would say they're probably worth the money. It's quite a good, well-built, robust, nice to shoot air rifle. It's not going to win you medals, it's not going to take any prizes, it's not that kind of thing. Um, you can shoot targets with it and with practice and finding the pellet that you really likes, I think you'd be able to put pellet on pellet at 20, 25, 30 yards. I am going to try this out at 50 yards and I am going to find myself a scope that fits better so I can uh, see what I'm doing. Um, and that end's definitely going to go, I'm not keeping that. Um, even without the torch it looks stupid. It almost looks like the gun's the wrong way around, doesn't it? Am I being picky? Maybe it's just, you know, it's not my taste. Um, I've seen that before, that suppressor. I used that on another Milbro rifle and I didn't like it on that one either. But anyway, that's it. It's a tiddler, it's quite powerful, it's quite accurate, it's nice to shoot. Um, 
It's not too bad weight wise. I haven't actually checked the weight of this. I believe it's around about the six pound mark without a scope. Um, that scope is heavy actually, even though it's small. So it's probably not helping things. Um, the bulk of the weight is bang in the middle. It does feel very well balanced. Uh, in fact, even with the stock all the way out, we should do that. The point of balance is right over the trigger. So that isn't bad at all. Now, as I say, it's not in my thing, but I've got one, and I think I'm going to grow to like it. It looks like it's going to be fun. Time I finish tinkering around with it, it might look a bit different. I will come back, I will do an update. That's enough for now. You've seen it work. You know how powerful it can be. You know how accurate it may or may not be. So um, let's wrap this one up. I'll see you all again soon. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll be back very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.